spoke jihad, fully, okay. fully jihad. Okay. I'm wondering how difficult it is for Muslims who are now in the West to adhere to either a personal jihad or a global jihad. How can they bring that together? Okay. Well, first we have to understand what the word jihad means. The word jihad is a verbal noun, just like Islam is a verbal noun. It only means struggle. In my talk at the, in, in the panel discussion we had at the, at the Trinity United uh, on uh, West Market Street, I believe, we talked about this in a lot more detail. Uh, so jihad is, the word jihad, I forgot to put the dot there, I made a different word. There, put the dot, made the correct word. The word jihad is used in both war contexts and non-war non -war contexts because it means struggle. Struggle could be physical struggle, and it could be any other kind of struggle. And um, the Quran says that, it says to make jihad against the disbelievers. But how does it say that? فَلَا تُدْعِ الْكَافِرِينَ وَجَاهِدْهُمْ بِهِ جِهَادٍ كَبِيرًا You may remember when we were studying this at the previous uh, discussion. Do not listen to the rejectors of faith, but make jihad against them with it, with the Quran, and the mighty jihad is. Meaning that you don't, com you don't combat issues of, of, of people attacking your faith, attacking all your belief by, you know, pulling out a sword. Rather, you argue with them intellectually with the text or with the revelation that God sends. So, um, this explanation I'm giving is not a fringe explanation. It's not a leftist explanation or a westernized explanation. This explanation of the verse of the Quran is agreed upon by even the most conservative Muslim scholarship. How do I know? Because I took the time to look at all of it. There is not one ounce of disagreement among Muslim scholarships. And even, no matter what sect that you belong to, that the, that the verse that I just mentioned um, means that the greatest jihad, if you want to make a jihad against unbelievers, the greatest jihad is to combat their arguments with what the Quran says. Meaning you share with your audience, with your interloper, you share with them what the Quran says.